for those attending their first match. The skaters with the stars on their helmet, those are the point scorers, those are jammers. They're going to try to get to the back cleanly and legally. First time through is to try to get lead jammer status. Second time through, you get a point for everyone you pass on the opposing team. And there are penalties, which we will talk about. First jammer through the pack will begin lead jammer status and can end the jam at her leisure. Jam is on and is Jam Trainer for the Manic Attackers wearing the start up against Lucy Ricardo, who has been brought to the back of the pack by Matt Jab Spunk. Now it's Jam Trainer being brought back by Mrs. Dr. Joseph L. Simonis. Both jammers having trouble with her open straightaway here. Trainer in the back trying to get around fairly dangerous. And will cut the track off the box as Jan Trainor lead jammer, double crossers Lucy Ricardo. You cannot pass a skater while stepping out of bounds. And then Jan Trainor did that there. That's cutting the track. <laughs> Lucy Ricardo gets five points for passing all of the blockers, which is four, and she gets a ghost point for kind of passing the jammer in the penalty box. Crossers now jump to offense as Lucy Ricardo is true. Offense from the crossers allows another five points for Lucia Ricardo. Ten so far for the crossers. Jan Trainor stands in the box, preparing to return. The double crossers were your 2014 Ivy King Cup champions. Now in the consolation match tonight. Big jam so far for the crossers. Jan Trainor not yet on a scoring pass as Lucia Ricardo has racked up 15 already. Now Lucy dealing with Bishemus and Bunka Doug out the pack and through, calls it off. Another four points, 19-0 for the double crossers to take this one off. Nice way to start off for the double crossers. Manic attackers still trying to get on the board. Bork, 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 going to take the jammer line for the Manics. And that's Josie L. Simonis for the double crossers. In the back of the crossers lines, he's Stella Sabotage, Malicious. Iceberg and Reina Chaos on the outside there. Looks like Kindy Lumber, Cuban Missile, Claudia Van Damage, and Press Amphetamine are the pack of back attackers, but this is Dr. Joseph Nelson notices is through the second double, second beat jam in a row for crossers. Pork, 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 not too far behind. So notice comes in looking for points. Right up against Press Amphetamine. Goes out of bounds, calls it off, but not quite in time. Looks like Pork, Pork, Pork got all four of four points. Waiting on some notice points here. You see uh, Jam Rep definitely and Vince Beat talking it out there. Looks like three for Simona. So even though the crossers had the Jammer on that one, the Mannix win that jam four to three. Josie wasn't too happy with that outcome there. As we line up again, we got clearly dangerous for the double crossers. Up against Mia Goham for the Mannix attackers. Start things off here, a scrum going, a whistle blows. Someone had a multiplayer block. That's a high and bloody Valentine off the box. First lead jam, though, goes to the Mag Attackers. That is Mia Goham with the star out in front of Clearly Dangerous. Let's see what she can do with it here. Entering turn two. Calls it off quickly. Let's see if that was a time. It was four to one for the Mag on that. Multiplayer block I kind of think of as the Red Rover block. If there are two linked people and someone hits that link, that is a multiplayer block. So we score 23 to 8 favoring the crossers after three jams. We're right back to the first matchup of the game with Dan Trainor up against Lucy Ricardo. Very last second our Luna pass pulled off as the Manics had won the box. Lee Jammer goes to Dan Trainor. Meanwhile, it looks like Ricardo has been pulled back behind Bashima and the Daft Spunk. Nice block by Stella Sabotage, recycling Jan Trainer all the way to the back of the pack. That was not a that was not a lap. She kind of she got knocked out of bounds, had to come in behind the skater that knocked her out of bounds. Five Damn. points for Manica Techers and Jan Trainer. She skates under her real name. You're allowed to do that. Trainer calling just in time as behind the, the nearest blue blocker, but could not get the hip pass to time, so no points for crossers on that pass. Now a 10 point game, favoring the crossers at the four, Simonis up against Pork, Pork, Pork again. Pork, Pork, Pork claiming this is her last game tonight. We 
and F dogs. But Port 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 is going to the penalty box for a back block penalty. And now Sabotis is through with lead jam status. Once again goes into turn two. The Mannix kind of slow this time. One that beats Claudia Van Dam and takes her to the boundary line. Now Golita tries to get in there. But Sabotis too strong. Powers through five points for the double crossers. They got outside the 20 foot engagement zone. The pack must be within 20 feet of each other to engage another skater. Otherwise, they call for being out of play. I even went off that from my own now down that pass. And got some of this a little bit easier that time. Now back to the box. And you're getting in the midst of court, court, court. Simonis won the beat. Claudia Van Damme is too far out in front of the pack. Claudia Van Damme sent the box on a 20 foot violation. Lots of out of play. Simonis coming around for more points. Makes the move around the outside, can't get around the methamphetamine, but gets the other point. So three more for Smotis. Big jam for the crossers. Now 41 to 13, favoring the silent assassins. Josie got one point for passing a blocker. Once you pass that blocker, you get the ghost points, in this case, for two blockers sitting in the penalty box. So just passing one blocker, she got, all, she got three points. And that leaves the man in a tough situation here with two in the box. A four on two power, power play situation. Favoring the crossers, like clearly dangerous, will try and make something of it with the star. Mia Goham tries to power her way through the middle, and it's a power jam for the Mannix in the short hand situation. It's quite clearly dangerous off the box of horror, and lead jammer goes to Mannix on the short hand and four on two. Mia Goham with lead jammer stats. Only one blocker to help her out. That's Kelly Quintavale. She's going to try to help her out, but three blockers for the crossers. Mia, nice. Shoot move to the outside, able to get over the through for five points. Found that sliver of daylight and now thinks that equalizer going to manage with Lita and Claudia Van Damage to be out of the penalty box. Mia gets nailed by Stella Sabotage on top of the pack. Gets back in quickly though. And works her way through and past Malicious, who goes to the box on the Lila out of play penalty. Claudia Van Damage back to the box as Manic Blocker, and now Mia's coming for her third historic pass through the inside of Stella Sabotage. Clearly dangerous, currently not in the scoring pass as she went to the box during her initial pass. So this gives Mia some time to get through and get some more points in the board for the Manix. Goes up the outside, gets around Stella Sabotage and Iceberg, and calls it off just in time. Big jam for the Manic Attackers. That's a... Uh, I believe that was 19-0 for the Mannix. Narrowing the gap there, 41 to 32 on the scoreboard at the 22 minute mark of the first half of play. We're gonna see this, we've seen this matchup already. It's Chan Trainer for the Mannix Attackers against Lucy Repardo for the Double Crossers. I think they've gone one and one so far in their matchups. Three blockers in the track for each team. Now Malicious back in the box for the crossers. But Lee Jam goes to the Mannix Jan Trainor. Claudia Van Damage comes back in the penalty box, but looks like Beth and is going to take her place. Lucy Ricardo going to the penalty box. I think she looks like a cut in the track penalty on Lucy Ricardo. So it's a power jam here for the Mannix attackers. Huge opportunity to possibly retake the lead in this jam. Absolutely. Jan Trainor now just one pass off the lead right here, and she gets it. That's gonna be a five full points for the Manic Attackers, making it a 42 to 41 game lead change, Manic Attackers. It's our first lead change of this matchup here. Jan Trainer, very powerful jammer. Jan Trainer makes her way around, so notice the top of the pack. And it's two or another five, extending that Manic lead now as the crossers get their camera back in the box. Now Trainor is forced out by Simonis, but Simonis off the box on a back block. Trainor falls it off, another five points. Another 19-0 jam for the Manic attackers, now 51 to 41 in favor of the crossers.
We got a look, first look at Sugar Rush jamming for the Double Crossers. Should be going up against the veteran Bork Bork Bork. Locker's taken off the jammer line here, moving up to the pivot line. Bork hits the pack first. Sugar Rush stuck behind Kotabale and Kenny Lopper. Meanwhile, Lee Jammer goes to Bork Bork Bork. Still stuck in turn one is Sugar Rush as Bork comes in for her first scoring pass. Nice footwork from Bork, Bork, Bork to get all five. Meanwhile, Sugar Rush nailed by Bashimuth, but Bashimuth takes a tumble of her own. And Beth and Benamine getting in on the action there. Bork up the inside, once again, walking that tightrope. Five more points for Manic Attackers. Bashimuth almost forces Sugar Rush out, but can't quite get her over the line. Sugar Rush tiptoed that inside line, was able to stay in bounds. As Bork, Bork, Bork is knocking about, she calls off the jam before Sugar Rush can score. Nice jam there for the Manic Attackers, extending their lead, 63 to 41. And as we line up again, we're gonna give another look at Mia Goham. This time, she'll take on Lucy Ricardo. If this is your first foul for the season with the Winning City Rollers, the Manic do come to this game as the favorite. They beat the Crossers last month, but last year the Crossers beat them the Ivy King Cup Championship, so front match on both sides here. Lucy Ricardo with the star for the crossers, nailed by Golita. Brought back to back to back, and lead jammer goes to Mia Goham. Watch that pack reform as they prepare for Mia Goham. And Mia Goham able to find some room on the outside, quickly through, she calls it off before Lucy Ricardo can catch the pack. Mia with an excellent footwork being able to find just enough daylight around to the sabotage there to uh, pull those four points out. Looks like the first timeout of the game has been called by the double crossers and score 67 minutes, 41 double crossers. It's about 12 minutes into this game, Humble. We have some skaters playing in their last bout tonight. We've got for the Manic Attackers, we got Bork, 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 and Beth and Fenemy playing in their last games. And on the Double Crossers side, Reign of Chaos, the veteran of, of the Double Crossers, and Maya Bloody Valentine. Transferred from Baltimore playing her last game. While we have some time, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors. Tonight's after party is going to be at the Bottom Lounge, which is at 1375 West Lake Street. We'd also like to thank ATI Physical Strength Therapy, the official sports medicine providers of the Windy City Rollers. Choose ATI for your physical therapy and sports medicine needs. ATI. The uh, crossers will start this next jam at a bit of a disadvantage if they have one blocker sitting in the box. So that is malicious as the pivot for the crossers. Blockers line up around the middle of the straightaway. It's Jan Trainor for the minute up against Claire Lee Dangerous for the double crossers. Kotabali, Funkadelic, Bashimith out there trying to hold back Claire. Jan Trainor nailed by Simonis, but not enough to stop her. Jan Trainor's out with Lee Jammer for the Manic Attackers. Now Trainor dealing with an anchor back here of Simonis, Iceberg. And Lisa Ricardo will call it off with all four. So, good job with the Manics there. Managers get a full 4 0, extend their lead to 71 41, a 30 point lead after falling for an early hole. One blocker down for the double crossers as we start this one off. If you see someone standing in the penalty box, that means they have under 10 seconds left on their 30 second penalty. As we start here, we got more, more, more for the Manic Attackers against the rookie Sugar Rush on the Double Crossers. Back to the pack here, Claudia Van Dam is doing this L. Kelly Clintabale and Kidney Lopper working over Sugar Rush. Meanwhile, work, work, work on top of the pack is Lee Jammer getting around Stella Sabotage, getting the finger of power in turn two. Nice blocking by Beth Amphetamine, recycling Sugar Rush to the back of the pack, while Bork, Bork, Bork contending with Stella Sabotage at the front of the pack, able to get by for five points. Bork using that power to force Stella Sabotage out of play. Off to the 
boxes. Kidney Lopper has an attic blocker. Work, work, work in a few seconds to pick up some more points. She'll call it off with no more points in that pass, but does win the jam 5 0. The double crossers wall held on that pass long enough to uh, allow Sugar Rush to make her way on and put the pressure on, forcing Work, work, work to call off the jam. Mia Goham once again for the Atlantic Attackers against Lucy Ricardo. Both these jammers in their second season of playing each. No one going anywhere in the middle of the pack of that was put to Molly Golita and Dabs Bunk had the middle locked down. Meanwhile, Simonis there to be dangerous and pop the tail the front. But the jammer goes to Lucy Ricardo as a power jam for double crossers. Ricardo has some time here. Trying to get around punch of Bali. Gets through, picks up five. Kenny Lauper turns to the box to make it a four-woman pack for the minutes. So let's see if Ricardo can get through. Runs into punch of Bali, not going much of anywhere right now. Still stuck in between his turn one and two. The cross is going to wait and play that passive offense. Ricardo taken down hard by Puntabali, who sent off the box on a clockwise block. But Ricardo sticks it out, gets through another 10 points for the crossers. Mia Goham returns from the box, not currently on a scoring pass, so Ricardo has time. This is the initial pass, yes indeed, for Mia. Jazz Spunk, nice blocking there, recycling. Lucy Ricardo trying to limit the damage, trying to give Mia a chance to clear. She does, that's the initial pass. And Lucy's going to call off the jam there after scoring two points. Much needed jam for the crosses there, picking up 12 0. Lucy Ricardo makes it a 23 point game, but 20, uh, 30, excuse me, 76 to 53. Just about half of this first half left. It's going to be uh, Simonis up against Cuban Miss L, jamming for the Manic Attackers. Four three pack favors the crossers as Coach Bali stands as Manic Dimmit in the box. Josie L. Simonis is your lead jam for the double crossers. Jan Trainer is able to get through on her initial pass. She, she, she's getting a penalty for... There's, there's some confusion here as Jan's now wearing the star, but the pivot is still on track for neck attackers. Cuban Missile started it as the jammer, plus the pass to a blocker, that being Trainer, as put the volley where it's a pivot. So you can pass the jammer start to the pivot. However, the pivot is still on the track right now. So, some confusion, perhaps Manic having too many pivots on the track. Either way, that moves a power jam for Simonis right now, as Krishimus, Punchavali, and Funkadelic are out there trying to hold her back. And now it's just Krishimus and Funkadelic. Bad news for Manic attackers right now. Simonis powers through by more points. The Manic's box is completely full right now. Josie on a scoring pass, trying to get past Bashima. And Josie able to get all through. He would miss out the jammer for the Mannix. She gets through on the initial pass. Simonis looking for the lead right now. It's a 76 72 game. Can the Mannix wall hold long enough? Big hit from my bloody Valentine denies keeping the cell any points. Simonis only takes two though, so it's not enough for the lead. But just a two point game as the cross has put the biggest jam of the game so far. A 21 0 jam. And I can only assume we're going to see an official review here. That confusion on the pass from keeping the cell to Dan Trailer. Double crossers want to talk it over. The jam burglar. Her gray shirt and tie comes on out. Have some words with our head referee, Golden Kacha, veteran referee, wearing the stripes for the last time tonight. We'd like to thank the second slaughter for being awesome, the All Girl Flat Track Junior Roller Derby League in Chicago, Illinois. The goal of the program is to create a community of female athletes, building girls' skating abilities, self.
self-esteem and emotional strength. Second City Slaughter practices are located at the Hyde Park Neighborhood Club and are held every Saturday from 11 to 2. For more information, you can go to honclub.com. And we'd like to give a shout out to Kidzilla of the Second City Slaughter. He's here this evening. Happy first wedding anniversary to Maul Hala, former manic attacker. Made it. Looks like the uh, double cross are challenging that the, the skaters were sitting in an incorrect seat when they were sent to the penalty box and therefore their time should not have been charged until they switched to the correct seats. The uh, head referee called the content out talking over with the penalty box managers, making sure that everything went down correctly when the skaters went to the penalty box in the last game. If, if you can see the uh, penalty box from where you're sitting, uh, the seats with the stars on those, jammers have to sit in those stars. And the blockers sit in the, I mean those chairs, but the blockers sit in the other ones. And your penalty doesn't start until you're seated in the right seat. So, technically they didn't serve their penalty if that's the case. We'd like to thank Mode Events, DJ Danger, for providing our musical style and this evening. Events and personalized DJ services at Mode Events, creating perfect moments, one song at a time. We'd like to thank Archie's, the Iowa Rock Rockwell Tavern, drinking like your old man since 1943, 2600 West Iowa Street in Chicago. We'd also like to thank Carrie's Lounge, 2251 West Des Moines in Chicago. And as always, Monster Muffin, Alter Ego Athletic Clothing, Professional Roller Derby Uniforms at Monster Muffin. Justice Feelgood Marshall, what do you know? The uh, double cost literature review was not upheld as the referee stated that sitting in the penalty box did suffice, even though they were not sitting in the locker and jammer chairs, they still did serve their time as necessary, and therefore were released at the correct time. So what I said was completely wrong earlier. So they did serve their penalties. All is only up and up for the many attackers. Two-point game. Here we got more, more, more. Skating for the Manic Attackers right in the Jammer Star against Claire Lee Dangerous. Wearing the Jammer Star for the Devil Crossers in black and silver trim. One blocker in the box for the Devil Crossers. And Lee Jammer goes to Bork, 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 trying to keep that Manic lead alive. Claire Lee Dangerous fights her way around the front of the pack. Knocking down Claudia Van Damage, but Bork, Bork, Bork has a little bit of time. Let's see if she can make it work. Can the Mannix take the lead on this pass? Oh, they already had the lead. Can they keep the lead? They do. Four points. And two points for the double crossers. I get a penalty for not realizing the Mannix already had the lead. Getting my team switched. It is still a one pass game though here. 80 to 76 with uh, just under 12 minutes left to play in the first half of the first game of this double header. The close men so far, last month the two teams faced off, they managed one solidly, but this time the cross is taking it right with them. Lucy Ricardo and Mia Goham. Mia with the star for the two on the front. She's lead camera for the Manix. Down goes Puntabali pretty hard there, and it's going to go off the penalty box. And it's a low block penalty on Kelly Puntabali, skating under her real name. And it's an attempted apex jump, however, I think she connected with someone mid-apex jump, and that's going to be a penalty for that. And that's going to be a lead change for the double crossers, as Lucy Ricardo picks up five and puts the cross in front, 81 80, and more up through the inside line of turn two, five more points. 
The cross extend their lead. The minutes penalty box completely full right now as Ricardo comes around for her third scoring pass. You go ahead went to the box on a misconduct. If you leave your skates, you cannot collide with another skater. And trying to jump the apex, that's what Mia did there. Lucy Ricardo really making the most of that penalty spiral for the Manix there. She has 15 so far. However, Mia Goham was on a scoring pass and put some four of her own. There is no lead jammer in this jam right now as Mia went to the box holding lead jammer status. Now Kapow has retrieved the star from Lucy Ricardo with still 30 seconds to play in this jam. Plenty of time to go. Mia Goham one more longer beat Stella Stavitage. Can't keep her in the pack. Four more points for the Manix. And the Manix take the lead back in the same jam. But Young Kapow is through. Stella Sabotage had nice position there, riding Mia Goham on a bounce, and Mia is through on her scoring pass. Four points, Mannix. Young Kapow gets ridden out of bounds by Funkadella right at the end there. Zero points on that pass. If I'm not mistaken, we had four lead changes in that one jam, leading the Mannix attack to the head by just one point, 96 to 95. Things are getting interesting here, Jan Trainer. It's Josie Simonis, real name Jammer Jam. 19 to 16 jam there made for the crossers. Nowhere in the penalty box as the jammers play. Simonis up that inside. His lead jammer for double crossers. Trainer not too far behind them. Watch that pack reform. They jockey from position. The Manics able to control the front. Trying to make it a little bit more hard. Uh, Josie. And I think it worked out. We're looking at zero one point manic attackers. It's a puzzle from Chan Schrader. So the man is able to win the that jam even without holding lead jammer status due to the fast feet of Jan Schrader and the smart positioning of the Manics as the jammer center. Penalty box is still empty now. Clearly dangerous takes a star from the double crossers. Stacy off against Peter Gazelle for the Manics. See a bucket delicate candy block for Beth and Fetamine and Pork 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 out there blocking for the Manic Attackers. For the crossers, Maya putting down a nice double sabotage. Meanwhile, Lee Chamber goes to Claire Lee Dangerous. Also out there, Yabba the Pal blocking an iceberg. Claire tries to go around Pork to the outside. Pork says no. A pork, pork, excuse me, forces the call off with just one point. And that will. Next time to the head by the Ferris of Argens, 97 to 96. Just under eight minutes left in the first half. Tight one here, Bubble. We got a nice battle going in this first half of play. Mia Goham going to take the chamber start for the Manic Attackers against Josie Ellis Simonis. Billy Box is empty at this time. Mia trying to find the right place to go. Goes back to the middle. Up against Malicious and Sugar Rush and Mary Poppy Caps. Meanwhile, Simone is battling it out with Puchamali. Around the outside is it's Mia Gohan. It's out first. She's the jammer. Simone is right behind. It's going to be a bang bang play right here. Let's see who makes the points first. And Mia calls it off. Not in time. Two points for Simone. A one point lead for the double crossers. Back and forth we go. Trainer now taking the star against Claire Lee Dangerous. Kelly Box remains in Not as pack not starting as close as they normally do. A little spread out here. Two distinct separation here. Trainer plays the way up the inside, playing it around Yon Kapow and Simonis. Uh, sabotage is the one that beat gets around Lee Jammer, Dan Trainer. Meanwhile, fairly dangerous, stuck behind Gork, 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 and Beth Amphetamine. Trainor coming for the first scoring points. Runs in the back to tell the sabotage, and is now trying to fight her way through a wall of black. Trainor off the inside, takes all five points, gives the lead back to the Manix. Another lead change! This is a very high scoring affair as well. Points going up very quickly. As we had a, a jammer star pass to Josie Elsimonis, 
Nine point jam there for Jan Trader. Extending the lead for the Magic Attackers. Coming up on the five minute mark here. We went back and forth for the last 15 minutes here. Lucy Ricardo taking the spell out for the double crossers. He's up against the Diego Hand. Once again, the penalty boxes are empty. Work, 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 Funky Bellic, Kitty Lawford, and Claudia Van Damage. In the blue, blocking for the minutes. Meanwhile, we've got Heisen Fur, a very common tax. And how did the track penalty on me? Mia go ham. It's a power jam for Lucy Ricardo. A chance for them to retake the lead once again if they can get two clean scoring passes here. Now Ricardo looking to have a little bit of trouble here. But does force her way through. Five points, making it a three-point game and giving her a chance to take the lead on this pass. She needs three. The pack at a standstill here. She collides with the pack. Moving her way through, not too shabby, we got another five points. Another lead change at the four and a half minute mark. Mia Goham out of the penalty box. And a back block penalty on Port Port Bork. It did allow her chamber to get through, however. And Lucy Ricardo going to the penalty box. Now it's a power jam for the Manic Attackers with 55 seconds remaining in the jam. Beautiful work there by, by uh, Mia Goham there. This ball down, but quickly back on her feet. And we're going to see another lead change as Mia Goham has just picked up five of her own. The second lead change of this jam. Four-arm penalty on Kitty Lawford, the rookie of the Manics. Another five points for the Manic attackers. Still 30 seconds left to play in this high-scoring game so far. Only Funkadelic and Claudia Van Damage left on the track for the Manics. Mia tries to go inside around Mary Pop and Caps. Now, Claudia Van Damage, the only blocker left from over there, has bumped us off the box on a clockwise penalty. Meanwhile, Bork back from the box. Claudia Van Damage goes to offense. Mia Goham up against the wall of black. And now Claudia and Bork turn to face oh, a water cargo. Claudia Van Damage knocks cargo into the hit from Bork. Nice alley loop there for Claudia and Bork. And that leaves that high scoring game of 20 to 12. The man is getting better of it. 126 to 110 in a back and forth game. Three minutes in our first half of play in our undercard match, which has not lived up to the title of undercard match. It's been a battle here so far. We got our first look at Beth Amphetamine, the veteran, is playing in her final night as a Windy City Roller. In her 11th season of play, playing Roller Derby. It's Josie Simonis, who is through for Blue Jammer status. Saw Spunk and Simonis going ahead and face to face there. Best up the inside line. Simonis will only have a few moments here to try and get some points here. Now, Kidney Lobber, Bashimus, and Daft Spunk trying to hold back Simonis. Nice hit from Bashimus, forces Simonis out. But Simonis hits all four. Beth picks up two. And Beth got four. Oh, I'm sure he got two. Got those backwards, so the Manics win that jam, even though they didn't have lead damage status. Good job from the Sheba there was the reason that Simonis could be holding it too, forcing her out in between turn three and four. And they're occupying the pivot line, that's the other yellow line. And spreading things out a little bit here. Clearly dangerous for the crossers, work, work, work. For the Manic attackers, you get a penalty. Near the back of the pack. Work, work, work is your lead jammer. Off the box is Dan Trador as Manic Pivot. Work goes inside. No one there. Calls it off. 4 0 Manic. Looks like we'll get one more jam in this half, possibly two. But definitely one here. Let's see how things end up going into the half. Sugar Rush, the rookie taking the jammer start for the Devil Crossers. Against the second year Shamar Mia Goham. Two blockers down for the Manic Attackers. Let's see if the Double Crossers can capitalize on the pack discrepancy. Mia goes to hammer defense on Mia Goham and runs back. And, and she forced a track cut. Nice work by Mia Goham. And Sugar Rush stepped back in bounds. 
Nice footwork there by Mago Hand was pushing the boundary line and draw that track out. That certainly saves the hack discrepancy. Now she can play full offense as Josie Simonis gets a directional penalty and then block on Mia. Very often captures two final play, cannot engage, has to let Mia go ham through. And now the medics have a good advantage here. As Dan Trainor is going to lead the charge into the pack. Mia Goham tries to go outside, is knocked out of bounds. Sugar Rush now back in play, battling with Funkadelic, Rashimith, Jan Trainor, finally through. That's the initial pass for Sugar Rush there. As Jan Trainor back to the penalty box for the second time this jam. Diego Ham calls it off, not before Bashima gets a hit on Sugar Rush. It's a two points for Sugar Rush. Big old hit by Bashima there at the end of the first half. That does close the action on the back and forth first half. Current scores, they have managed 139, the crossers 115. It's a play between these four teams, and that first half barrel was quite a doozy, huh? by Josie Simonis. Nice move by Josie there. She went up the inside. Work couldn't see where Simonis escapes were and never entered her too quickly. Meanwhile, the camera goes to Lucy Ricardo having a great game so far. Opportunity here for the Devil Crossers to narrow the gap. Possibly capture the lead here. Five points so far in this gym. Packing a standstill on the home strip. Daps, Daps Smoke wearing the pivot strike trying to call things out here. So the second time in a row, Simonis with a perfectly timed block is able to rattle the Manix just as Ricardo enters the pack. Here comes on our third scoring pass. Tangled up with Dab Spunk. It's going to be, I think, a penalty on Dab Spunk. I think it was a low block. It looks like uh, Ricardo shipped over his Dab Spunk halfway went down. Ricardo now with 15 points. Big damn Ricardo takes the lead back. The double crossers now back in front for the first time in the half. That was the initial pass for Moore, Moore, Moore. Josie trying to create a hole. Lucy hits the pack, calls it off. Let's see, did she get any? She did. She got two more. She got her own blocker there, but picks up two points. And he gives the double crossers a four-point lead. 155, 151, 24 minutes left to play in this first place matchup of the Ivy Kings Cup doubleheader. We've got two jammers here playing in their last game here. We've got Beth and Fenneby from the Manic Attackers, and there's Arena Chaos wearing the name Hammer in uh, honor of the fallen teammate, Ron Johnson Hammer. Work, work, work with the jammer takeout there. Recycles Raina back. And Beth and Fenneby trying to get towards the front of the pack. Work still Hammer in Chaos there. Now Daft Spunk returns to the penalty box is going to equalize the packs. Kidney Lopper and Iceberg going to the penalty box, one from each team. Neither Jammer able to get it through. through. It's a, a flurry of blocking, <laughs> furious blocking happening as Beth Amphetamine finally gets through for lead Jammer status. Mike Sukrow all up with lead Jammer status, Raina Chaos on a half track behind. Three three pack, Beth Amphetamine coming in for points. Goes around some motors on the outside, calls it off. Four zero jam with that second pass, much easier than the first one. And you know what that is? That's a tie game. The Manic Attackers, the Double Crossers, knotted up at 155 each. Now we're gonna get a rookie jam here. We got Cuban Missile, is your rookie for the Manic Attackers jamming against Malicious, rookie for the Double Crossers jamming. Couple blockers in the box for the Manics, one for the Devil Crossers. Back and forth they go. Malicious hits the deck quickly back up. Unless it learned in roller derby, you're gonna get knocked down. It's how quick you get back up that counts. 
as Galicius is now European champion for the double crossers. Galicius with a lot of space here as Cuban Bissell is still stuck behind Mary Pop and Cash. Makes a move, Pops goes down. So does Cuban, and Cuban backs up, not going to risk the track cut. Meanwhile, is left by Galicius. Cuban is out, Galicius has her point and is still going. Malicious won the beat, I think, of just Bashima. Pork, 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 a big hit to the infield. Malicious calls it off just in time. Let's see how many points she got on that one. Three rings for the double crossers, zero for the many tags in their champ. So the double crossers take the lead once again. Clearly dangerous, he's going to try to protect that lead up against Mia Goham. He'll try to get it back for the Manic Express. Penalty box is empty. No, it's not. Penalty box is not empty. <laughs> We've got Mia Goham against Claire. Really dangerous. Let's see, cutting the track penalty. Fairly puts the ball in the elite jammer. Clearly dangerous for the Devil Crossers. Put the ball in the corner. Take the space that Mary Poppy Cap just opened. So now the pack advantage goes to the crossers. Simonis is going to recycle Mia Goham. Meanwhile, clearly dangerous, by the way, from the inside. Five, four points for the double crossers. Now an eight point lead. Clear around again, up against Daft Spunk. Cut to the inside. Now it's Amanda Beltsum and Funkadelic trying to hold back Claire. Claire calls it off and so pick up what looks like a full five points. A 13 point lead of the double crossers. Still 20 minutes left to play in this game. Plenty of time here. Number 51, Lucy Ricardo against number 51, Buda Pest. And this is Jim. One blocker now for the double crossers. Mary Pop and Caps returning to the box during that last hit. And we are on our way here. Budapest around her team now trying to get past the double crossers. Lucy Ricardo takes a shot from Bork, Bork, Bork. And again, double hits from Bork forces Ricardo all the way to the back. Meanwhile, Lee Danberg goes to Budapest for the Manic Attackers. And now the the cross is in some trouble here. Two on the way to the box, and Mary Poppins have still stuck there. Leaves only one blocker out there for the crosses. That is Ice Bird. They're going to extend that into the next jam as Lucy Ricardo. I'm sorry, Luka has called off the jam after getting her points. Down nine points now. This is a pretty good setup for the double points. We put the Mac Attackers here as the crosses will only have fairly dangerous down on the track. This is a rare occurrence because we usually only have two blockers in the time box at once. Claire all the way up in the pivot line, facing the other direction, ready for battle. Bork makes her break up the outside, cuts around Claire on the outside. He's a big camera for the Mannix there, as they only had one blocker to deal with. But Simone is able to get through the three blue blockers and Bork won't have that much time to make some points here. Goes around Claire to the inside, makes it look easy on that one. 4-0 for Bork. And then just the ice and two crossers in the box. So that will narrow to a 9.8, 168, 163. The crossers lead 8 minutes left. Two in the box standing for the crossers. One in the box sitting for the Hennets. Once again, number 51, Lucy Ricardo for the crossers against number 51, Huda Pest for the Manic Attackers. Manic's trying to stop Ricardo on the outside. Trainor, Machimus, Kitty Lopper all over Ricardo. Meanwhile, Huda Pest plus Berg and Stella Sabotage back and forth they go. Lucy Ricardo tries to on the outside. Nothing doing there. Back to the box, Beth and Metamine. Off the box, Machimus. Down goes, it's like. Ricardo, still both cameras unable to penetrate the pack. It's Budapest now as Dan Trainor off the box. And Lee Jammer goes to Budapest after a 30 minutes of battle there. Looks like Ricardo is trying to pass the star. 
She got taken out. She gets recycled for back to back by Beth and Frenemies. Look at that. She got through the back. Outside the engagement zone, those skaters are going to let her go. That's five points. And I name the Manic Attacks on Tiny Up. And now who can pass the to take the lead from the Manic Attackers? These just one point. And here she gets the lead here. Who can pass in the scrum? As is Yao Kapow. She got points of her own. Bringing the lead back to the double crossers. It's like who the pass. And who the calls it off. Let's see how many points she gets total. Two points. So the net champ ends with the double crossers with a two point lead. A very crazy champ there. Looks like on that last pass, who the didn't realize how close she was looking for a main pass there. So the dunk called off with the score equalized. Looks like an official review is being called by the Manic Attackers. The Manic Attackers want that lead. They're going to try to get a dab spunk to the center with no vengeance in her veteran cap. Jan Fergler of the Double Crossers. Our after party tonight is at the bottom lounge. Someone will be celebrating the Ivy King Cup Championship. That's our second match tonight. This is just the first match of two. It's been a great undercard matchup. Just a two-point game here. If you'd like to be a Whitney City Roller, our next tryouts are going to be on May 3rd. You can email tryout at WhitneyCityRollers.com and tell us why you want to try out. And they do have clinics. They do have a session coming up where you can skate at our practice space and learn the basics of roller derby. Justice Gilbert Marshall, what you learn? Looks like the Manic Attackers are challenging that the star pass occurred while the camera was out of play and that therefore there should be a penalty assessed to them. The uh, cross of the course are stating that the teams were in play and therefore should not be assessed a penalty. So we'll wait and see how the referee determines this one. Zebra huddle on the center of the track will determine the outcome. Do you love roller derby? Do you have a passion for the rules and order? Whitney City Rollers are currently seeking referees and non-skating officials. If you're interested in joining WCR's renowned and respected officiating crew, please email officiating at WhitneyCityRollers.com for more information and details. And this is a whole international thing. If you really want to, the officials are a really tight knit group and they travel all over the country. Sometimes other countries, I know we had a skater, we had a referee that did clinics in Australia, so if you really want to get into it, the sky's the limit. If you'd like to think, some of our non-skating officials, Chu Baxia, Machete Page, Aliyus, Frank Lloyd Wrong, Brad Habit, Scorson Wells, Vanilla Ice, Vanilla Vice, I'm sorry, Curdy Arnott, Susan Saran Rapp, Megs and Bacon, Alanis Morristat, and our Jam Schreiber, who's currently doing the YMCA fill in the blank. So, looks like the Manic Attackers do not win their view as the referees held that the pivot was in fact in play during the star pass. So the Manic Attackers lose their first review and do not have another one to use during the pass. It's hard to win a review. It is, it's difficult. You're a coach, correct? I am a coach. How many reviews have you won in your lifetime? Um, not as many as I wanted to. Looks like Timothy Mizell getting for the Manics, but lead camera goes to Josie L. Simonis. Cross is right now sitting on a two point lead. Timothy Mizell is through. Simonis has time for points, so come up against Gulita. Up like around the outside. No one there. 4 0 for the Crossers. A 176 to 170 game right now. About a quarter left to play. Not the same level when I was out there, I looked at the penalty board and noticed that Dan Trainor is sitting on six penalties right now from the Manic Attackers, which could very well end up being a factor with almost 16 minutes left to play in this game as Dan Trainor, one of their key players. And we are underway here, Claire versus Port. Iceberg with a nice block, slowing down Port, Port, Port. A whistle blows. Got a lead jammer, that's clearly dangerous to the double crossers trying to extend the lead. Looks like that penalty was on Claudia made a damage. 
Quark, Quark, Quark is through and seems to have some skate trouble. Skating gingerly on one there. She's looking at her right skate there. Claire going to call off the jam. Uh, yeah, the uh, yeah, bench not caught a lot of break there. As I'm having trouble coming back from the pack. Claire does call up with the 4 0, giving the crossers a 10 0 lead. This next jam will start the Panthers crossers as both Behemoth and Claudia Van Dam are sick in the box. While the Medic Pack was leaving only Team Captain Dan Funk and Funk Delic out there. And our right hand pack for the Medic Pack. Ricardo trying to keep her hot night going for the double crossers. Knocked down by Funkadelic, saving the day right there on the 4 2 pack there. Cuban Missile trying to scrum against that four wall, four wall holding. There's two blockers, Dash Spunk and Funkadelic doing a nice job holding off Lucy Ricardo. Nice hit right there by Raven Chaos. Trying to deal with Sonotis, Great Chaos, Iceberg, not having too much luck there out the back. Ricardo now on a scoring pass. Well, Kuba Vassell is really having a nightmare back here with Josie on Sonotis. Meanwhile, off the box, Dax Spunk has a manic blocker. Pack all reached out right now. Lucy Ricardo able to get through five points for so, the Devil Crossers. Sonotis is forced. Uh, Miss Hell now uh, uh, four times in a row. Finally, up to their fifth time, Sabonis all over the Manic Jammer. She looks a little shaken up here. She was asking the referee to call in Jamal, so you see our medics, uh, Papa Doc, Mama Doc, and Roe, running out there to check it out. That jam called on injury for to the Miss Hell. At the time, the jam was called, it was 5 0. Let's see if the score changes. So definitely I'll come over here and talk to the score board table. Show some love for Cuban Missile. So my uh, WFD rules Cuban Missile will not be able to skate in the next three jam when the jam is called off Cuban Skater Rangers will be on a must sit to the skater. Must sit for the next three jams. Now we are getting pretty deep into this game right now with only 13 minutes remaining. So that's going to hamper the bench a little bit. Remember, we mentioned the board can trigger our sitting on six penalties and you get seven you foul out. So the Maddox already missing uh, Max Savage and Zoe Strosius. Might be running into some personnel problems by the end of this match. We're underway again, a scrum start here. Both walls holding so far. One blocker down for the Maddox attackers. And recycling being happened by the Maddox. And Mia Gohan, she's your lead jammer, tip and toe and on the outside, able to stay in bounds. Beautiful balance from Mia Gohan, keeping it in play on the track. Now she is going to deal with Sonotis, Della Sabotage, Malicious. And off the box, Claire Lee Dangerous was not happy about that call. Shaking her head furiously as a huge opportunity for the Manic Attackers appears to call off the jam. Four points for the Maddox, narrowing the gap, and they start this jam in a power jam. Budapest is going to get a probably of about 30 seconds without an opposing jam. They swap out their jammers, they're going to go with Jam Trainer, one of the best skaters in the league. Right on, this high pressure jam for Trainer. Cannot afford to go to the box anymore in this game. Claire Lee Neighbors watches from the box along with Dolita as Manic Blocker. Trainor trying to find a way around Simonis, can't do it. Claudia Van Dam has a beautiful opening block. Leaves a huge lane for Dan Trainor. 
Nice offense there for Claudia. Shane coming up on her first scoring pass, getting some help from her teammates. And now Trainer are trying to work on this first scoring pass. Up the apex, two with five, making her time count up there. Clearly dangerous back and forth in the box. Cameron Hamburg away past Claudia Van Damage. Now with the Shemith, just working over player when he just hop of the pack. He's going to have to let her go on the 20 feet. Trainor hops around through the outside, plays it safe, calls it off. And picks up three more points. Not a bad middle kill there for the Devil Crossers. We're able to limit the damage somewhat. Still a seven point lead here for the Devil Crossers. 11 minutes remaining in this undercutter matchup tonight. That was a really smart substitution there by the United Tackles. They tried to put things in for a while. They didn't put the loser, but knowing that they had that opportunity was clearly dangerous in the county box. Just really uh, picked the right moment to drop her. Now we're going to get number 51, Lucy Ricardo against number 51, Huda Pest for the Manic Attackers. Old Jammers trying to muscle her way through. Really locked up here. Neither Jammer and much more. Hydra's shot getting the move on Lucy Ricardo. A nice block there for Ricardo to the infield. Huda Fest can't quite get her up very proper down from the top of the pile. Cutting the track penalty on. It is on Huda Fest. Power jam, Lucy Ricardo. That's you, only 10 minutes remaining. And track cut drawn by Trap Daff Splunk. She stuck her hips back right as Lucy Ricardo came in bounds. Nice track awareness there by Daff Splunk. And that's going to make this jam go full length. Although, you won't see Budapest come out of the box until Ricardo sits down herself. And that will leave a minute of jam time left here. We get the jammer swap here. And Lucy will serve the amount of time that Budapest served. So under 30 seconds. Now Budapest is trying to get around Yom Kapow. And is going to pass the offense here. They're going to sit back with Ricardo. They are stacked up on the back of Ricardo. Back in the box is Bork 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 to help out. And Hudapest is through, as is Lucy Ricardo, who removed the star momentarily. And we are going the full two minutes here as both Jamers went to the penalty box. So, an extended jam here. Another whistle. Oh, another track cut. Track cut. Lucy Ricardo kept her toe stop down a moment too long, and this is a huge opportunity for the Manic Attackers. They are just two points back. Budapest with five seconds of the lead back right here. Can she do it? Goes to the inside. That's going to be the ghost point to the box. I think that's going to be... Let's see what it is there. Three for the Manics. Lucy Ricardo scores before she went to the box. She got one point. So we're looking at a tie game here with the eight and a half minutes remaining. Manics have brought it back once again, and Mia Goham with an opportunity to, to take the lead, starting this jam in a power jam. Two in the box for the double crossers. Mia Goham hops around, but is knocked out by Dirty Simonis. Simonis goes too far back, though, looks like. And around the outside, lead jammer, Mia Goham for the Manic attacker. Looking to take the lead back for the Manics. Gonna play it safe here around Iceberg. Back in the box is Lucy Ricardo. Mia still trying to find a way through. Denied again. Now one to beat Iceberg, but now two to beat. Claire is pretty dangerous. There's something there. Claire from out of bounds. Unable to stop her five points. Josie Saronis has now the jammer. We had a star pass there. Lucy Ricardo passes the star to Josie. And that's going to end the jam there. Zero. And we're going to get a discussion to confirm the crossers' points. Looks like Quinta Bali got a hit on Saronis at the very end there. Let's see if it was in time. It's not in time. So Saronis does this Quinta Bali's point. One point crossers there. We're looking at a 
four point game, six minutes, 45 seconds remain. Real name jam, Jan Trainer against Josie Simonis. Manic and Packers didn't get all the track right here. Trainer sitting on six penalties, cannot afford the box break. Simonis goes around dash one. Trainer trying to find a groove on the outside. Dash spot once again recycles Josie Simonis. Lead jammer, Jan Trainer. Trainer through off the box spot and the end damage of the Manic Logger. Dash spot recycles Simonis. Dan Trainor playing it safe here, pushing that pack up slowly, Jason through. Five points, Manic Attackers. Off to the box as double crosser pivot is Jan Kapow. Simonis is through, Trainor is through. Another four points for the Manic Attackers. That's right, the full five for the Manic Attackers right there. 10-0 Dan for the Manics. He scored 205 Manics, 191 double crossers. I'm now called by the double crossers. The champ burglar and Illinois want to talk things over as we're coming down the home stretch here. Just a 14 point game. Manic attackers opened it up a little bit in that last jam. We'd like to thank ATI Physical Therapy, the official sports medicine providers of the Windy City Rollers. Choose ATI for your physical therapy and sports medicine needs. We'd like to thank the Lumbar Roller Rink, specializing in birthday parties, events, adult and kid lessons, and of course they sell skates. Check out LumbarRollerRink.com. We want to give a shout out to our head of officiating, Beth Nelly. And wish her the best of luck as she transfers to our sisters from the north, the Mad Roland Dolls of Madison, Wisconsin. She will definitely be missed. She's currently the champ, jammer rat on the Manic Attackers. So it took a moment there to flip over our pet account. If you uh, you only get seven penalties in the game, the seventh fouls you out. Right now, Dan Trainor is sitting on six, four on five, and is on five. No crosser has more than four penalties. Four for four is your lead jammer. Can kill clock, most importantly. Clearly dangerous is out. Watch that pack scroll. We got two blockers out there for the double crossers. Bork hits the pack, hits her points, calls it off. She get all of them. She got four points there. Two for the blockers, two ghost points for the blockers in the penalty box. Absolutely perfectly what the man did right there as we got the 4 0 and kept those blockers in the box. Therefore, setting up a good lead jam opportunity for Dan Trainer here. Another thing here, the man is uh, using Dan Trainer here, a plane with fire. They cannot afford to have the camera foul out. If Dan Trainer goes to the box, she is not coming back. Malicious, the rookie, taking the star for the Devil Crossers. We get in, I heard a whistle blow, and that is lead jammer Jan Schrader. Takes a shot from Clarity Dangerous, but it keep right on going. Off the box is that spunk. That gives Anna and Mishima. So that's going to give the Crossers a 4 2 advantage here. Schrader trying to find her way through the points. And. Does not call in time. This will be all four points go to the crossers. Malicious with some hustle there, getting those points. Now two blockers down for the Manic Attackers as we enter this next jam. Lucy Ricardo has the pack advantage. She'll be up against Mia Gohan, who has the lead with her team. 212 to 195. 17 points, 3 minutes, 45 seconds remain. So now Mishima is also sitting on six penalties for the Manic Attackers. She is currently in the penalty box. Beth Amphetamine recycling Lucy Ricardo back. Beautiful solo job there from Beth in the back there. Meanwhile, Mia Goham throw on the outside lead jammer for the Manic Attackers, Mia Goham. Trey noted both blockers for the Manic Attackers that were in there, both in their last game tonight. Absolutely critical lead jam call for the Manics as they went into that jam with a 4-2 advantage. 
Mia trying to fight her way past Bird and a very popping caps. Goes down and there's a whistle. It's a power jam. Mia go hands off the box in a low block. And this is huge news for the double crossers. Critical defense is standing here with the match. Down Spunk, Christina, Fork, 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 trying to hold it down. Fork, the big hit to Raina Chaos, Fox, and the elbow. Elbow. elbow penalty on Fork, Fork, Fork. That's number six for Fork. Penalty trouble continues for the Manics here. It's now Spunk and Majima. Majima has fouled out of the game. We will not see Majima's return in on this one. And now Raina Chaos trying to fix it off. Mia Goham is back from the penalty box. Now that is Spunk trying to hold back Raina Chaos. Mia Goham trying to score points for the Manics. Raina through for another five points. Mia Goham on the penalty box through the pack. She gets points of her own. 15 seconds remaining in this jam. It's a six point game as they hit the pack one more time. Raina through, she gets a shot from that Spunk. Mia Goham cuts the So that ends the jam. We're looking at points. Zero points on that pass, but a, a big jam for the double crossers there. One and a half minutes remain. They got a power jam. Looks like Mia was looking at the wrong blocker there. She did jump behind the person who hit her up, but failed to jump behind the person who was up front and ran back on her. So now, it's definitely going to come down to a last jam here. The double crossers will have a power jam situation with 90 seconds left, down by 8 points. Mia Goham will return from the box during this jam, most likely. The question is whether or not the boss can get those points back before she does. That may have been Raiden Chaos last jam. That's a good way to go out. Really. And we mentioned that the boss is going to be the manage in the penalty trouble. Fork, 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 I believe, is sitting on 6. But Kiva did fell out of the game during that jam. Jan Fenor also won six. So all key players in the event. And it's going to come down to Stella Sabotage, Clarely Dangerous, Iceberg, and Mary Popping Caps on the, on the track as blocking the crossers, blocking for the Manics. Jack Spook, Four, 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 Death and Fetime. Jan Trador with Mia Goham in the box as the jammer. That is a powerful blocking core for the Manic Attackers. That is their number one blocking core right there. Also, once again, the Manic's dealing with two players on the track of six penalties. Josie with power, pushing her way through. Sonotis is lead. Back at a standstill, passive offense from the crossers.
The jam will go to the natural conclusion if the period clock runs out. If you want any more drama, Dan Trainer on six penalties in the final game. Multiplayer block penalty will be hit. The American Packers have no ability to score. She called off again. The jam is ended. With 20 seconds remaining. Uh, all right, the clock stops at 15 seconds. The man is prepared. Well, it looks like an official review is on the call. This is an official review, it's not a team timeout. I get the feeling the Mannix want their jammer back as Jan Trainer got called on a multiplayer engagement. This is going to be a very intimate conclusion because I'm, I'm not sure the next call came out here. It's just here to get official time out. So they have kicked off the clock. Now Jan Trainer, I think the discussion is whether or not she's going to be in the penalty box. Because if he had a foul down, she'd already off the track. So now I'm just going to bring the first penalty. There's an OTO of the Oscars, not a take that out. Meanwhile, of course, it was also on six countries off the penalty box. So, we have a chaos and great revenue. Gold and Katya tells Mary Trader that she has fouled out. So, she will hand the star to Beth and Fedeby. However, it does give the Mandix one last prayer to come back. Otherwise, Charles could have let that jam run. It's going to be extremely difficult for the Mannequin Packers here as they're starting with the power jam down two points. Josie going to correct things here. They're going to finish it off. Josie sent out again. For the minutes to win this game, they have to hold the bonus back for only 30 seconds and get the jam. They have to prevent the jammer status after Josie. Five seconds to the net till we begin. And so it begins, the final jam for real this time. Quentin Bali, Davis Bunk, and Kenny Love are the only thing standing between the double crossers and victory here. The Pets still together. Penalty and Let's that gives Josie lead jammer status. Now Josie making sure, and Josie calls off the jam. Bringing home the two-point victory for the Double Crossers. The third time is a charm on the call-off there for Jody Simonis.
in the center of the track. The Lumbar Brother Ring player of the game is Lucy Ricardo. The lead point scorer for the Devil Crossers in that incredible matchup. your second season with the Windy City Rollers. You're, you're getting better, girl. <laughs> Congratulations. Tell us about your team. Um, our team is awesome. We've had, we've, had a, we've had a long year. We've lost people to injuries. We've lost people to life. We've had a lot of new people. It's a different team than the team that was last year, but it's been incredible, and I'm so proud of everyone for sticking tough and winning today. Congratulations, Lucy. Congratulations, Double Crossers. Now at this time, this is the final of our local season. But coming up is our travel team season, which we, which we really care about. We're part of the WFTDA, an international organization. We were about the 12th league in existence. And... Uh, we're ranked 10th, and uh, we want to introduce you to our travel teams. I'm not sure everybody's out here, though. Is everybody? Okay, we do have everybody. First of all, our, we have three levels. We have a C team, which is the third coast, which hasn't been selected yet. But we have our B team, is the second wind. And our second wind is from the Manic Attackers, Bushimith. From the, come on out and line up on the first line there. The from the Hell's Bells, Christian Mangle. From the Double Crossers, Clearly Dangerous. From the Manic Attackers, Claudia Van Damage. From the Fury, Enemy Lou Harris. From the Fury, Flow Rider. From the Manic Attackers, Funkadelic. From the Manic Attackers, Gulita. From the Fury, Hat Trixie. From the Manic Attackers, Kelly Quintavale. From the Manic Attackers, Kidney Lopper. From the Double Crossers, Lucy Ricardo. From the Double Crossers, Malicious. From the Hell's Bells, Sugar Smacks. From the Double Crossers, Sugar Rush. From the Hell's Bells, Civil Disobedience. From the Hell's Bells, Trouble Helix. From the Hell's Bells, Val Capone. From the Double Crossers, Yom Kapow. From the Hell's Bells of Beat and Down, and from the Double Crossers, Minerva Damage. They will be coached by Franklin Roosevelt of the Fury and Bork 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 of the Manic Attackers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the Winnie City Rollers B team, the second win. And uh, you ladies take a knee. Take a knee, and I'm going to introduce you to our Windy City Roller All Stars. Our Windy City All Roller All Stars, they will be playing their first. You can go, it's okay. Or Neil. We didn't rehearse this. The, the, the Windy City Roller All Stars will play their first match April 18th at the Lombard Roller Rink against the Team United out of Des Moines. And they will be Captains Daft Spunk from the Manic Attackers, from the Hells Bells Dog Team. Travel team only, Who's Your Mama? From the Double Crossers, Iceberg. From the Manic Attackers, Jan Trainor. Travel team only, Carmageddon. From the Double Crossers, Killinois. From the Hells Bells, Killjoy. From the Hells Bells, Legal Tenderizer. From the Double Crossers, Max Savage. From the Fury, 